Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Wreath Network on TryHackMe. Today we're going to be taking a look at task 18, Git Server Pivoting. Before we dive into the task, I do want to scroll up and show that this did update so we can see we've got our two IPs that we've found. Um, and we can see that we are going to be attacking presumably this 150 next. And I believe that's what we're going to be diving into with this task. Thinking about the interesting service on the next target that we've discovered in the previous task, pick a pivoting technique and use it to connect to this service uh, using the web browser on your attacking or attacking machine. Um, so in this specific case, we could use S shuttle. Uh, and yeah, we can see that it's even advised down there. I'm going to do an initial curl of the website to see what we're working with. 10, 272, 150, just to see. Um, and we can see that we're working with a service called GetStack, uh, which is actually gonna be our first answer here. That's a nice way that if you don't want to do any pivoting right away, you can see initially what you're working with and even just scrolling through this will give you a good idea of what uh, service is running there. There we go. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna scroll up to the S shuttle section and we'll go ahead and get this set up. Uh, so we'll take a look at S shuttle and we can go ahead and I will clone this to this directory. This is our upload directory, so we'll do git clone um, and then I want to paste a shuttle and we're going to walk through this section really quickly so that we can do this or we can actually here we go uh, we can do sudo apt install a shuttle that's even easier um, and I think I already did that when I was doing that uh, or when I was doing this task initially I'm going to open up a new tab and name it s shuttle uh, in tmux, I'll do a sudo su, so I'm running this as root. Let's see if I typed in my password correctly. There we go. <laughs> I knew I typed up that. Um, so we can go ahead and do our base command here, uh, which is going to be, uh, we need to specify actually that we're using the id underscore rsa file. So first we need to change to the loot directory. Um, and then web server, uh, because I did specify where that came from. Again, very important because you need to know where you actually found uh, something like this. This would be a finding the fact that this was accessible once we exploited that machine, just as a nice example. Um, we need to go ahead and build out our S shuttle command. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, type out the start of the command. It's going to be S shuttle and then R specifying that we're doing the remote access. It's going to be root at 10. 272 and then I think uh, it was 200 at the end. Let me double check. Yeah, 200. And then we need to specify that uh, we are using a different SSH, CMD, SSH I, ID underscore RSA, since we're doing this in the current directory. And then the network that we're connecting to is 10, 0. Um, and we need slash 24 at the end there, and we need to specify that we are excluding the host that we're connecting to, because we can already reach this. So 10, uh, dash X, 10, 200, 72, 200, and let's give that a try. Connected to server, and I think we might be good. And let's see. I believe this should set itself up as just a uh, proxy that's accessible internally. Uh, but let me go ahead. I'm going to pause the video. I will figure out the syntax that we need to use going from here. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I was being silly. Uh, this automatically will set up the connection um, by default. It's a poor man's VPN. So essentially just leaving a shuttle running over here um, allows us to access this on our normal working machine as if we are just VPN into the network. Incredibly nice. Uh, <laughs> so you can go ahead and just leave this running and then you should be able to navigate to it um, using, I'm using Chrome for this specifically, just so that I'm not interfering with what I'm doing in uh, Firefox. You are probably fine to just use Firefox. One note, I did have to restart Chrome to have it uh, be okay with the new routing table adjustments on my host. So just be aware of that. Let me go ahead and move that over there. And we can see that if I make this a little bit bigger, when I requested the page on that host, uh, we can see that um, we didn't match any of the predefined URLs or the actual paths in the app. Um, it looks like we want to go to this Git stack uh, path. So we'll post that there. 
forward slash git stack. And sure enough, there we go. So we have a git stack application, which is something that we had already figured out before just by doing that initial curl. Um, and we can go to task 18. That's what I meant to do. So head to the login screen of the application. This can be done by adding the answer to the previous question at the end of the uh, URL. If using S shuttle, you can just do HTTP and then the IP and then forward slash get stack um, in this case, which is just what I ended up doing. When navigating to this URI, we are given the following login page. Uh, let's see if these default credentials work. And they do not. That is disappointing. More often than not, uh, these will actually work, unfortunately. Um, so we can put nay for that because they did not work. Shucks, it couldn't be that easy, huh? Back to the drawing board. Use the command search point and then service name on Kali to search for exploits related to this service. So I'll go ahead and minimize this. Um, and we can just leave this there. I'm going to go back to my working section. Um, and we can do search exploit and get stack. Let's see what we've got. And sure enough, it looks like we have <clears throat> some wonderful uh, remote code execution uh, issues with this service. So we've gone ahead, we can mark that as completed. You will see that there are three publicly available exploits. There's one Python RCE exploit for version 2.3.10 of the service. What is the exploit DB ID number of this exploit? So the 2.3.10, uh, that is gonna be 43777 for the exploit DB ID. And that is going to do it for task 18. I will see you guys in the next video over task 19 when we start doing code review of this exploit, I believe. But until then, happy hacking.